here before. A decade ago, they started a rebuilding process that culminated in a 2015 World Series title. As the 2019 season opens, Kansas City hopes to accelerate that timeline this time around. While Cleveland is the clear favorite in the AL Central, the race is wide open behind them. With external pressures and expectations low, the Royals, anchored by all-star catcher Salvador Perez, are hoping the positive momentum of a strong finish to close the 2018 season can spur a move back up the standings in 2019. Coming to you from beautiful Kauffman Stadium, the home of the Kansas City Royals. They'll play host to the Chicago White Sox on this opening day. With more on this Royals club, let's send it down to Heidi Watney. Matt, this club is not widely considered to be a contender this year, so most experts would caution their fan base to temper their expectations. But in talking with players and manager Ned Yost, I sense a loose and freewheeling confidence in this clubhouse. Although the team lost 104 games last season, they finished strong with a winning record in September. With another year of valuable experience under their belts, plus a couple of moves in the offseason to add depth, this club feels their strong core of young players could surprise some people this year. A win today would be a notable beginning, as they've lost on opening day each of the past two seasons. Thanks, Heidi. And with that, let's get this 2019 season underway. Oh, welcome to those of you just joining us. We're in the Leading sixth inning. The Nobody shot. out. The Up second next base. for Chicago, Carlos Yilmer Sanchez. Sanchez. First offering on its way. Nope. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Some action now in the White Sox bullpen. They'll stand up a lefty and a right hander to throw. The 1 0 is looked at for the first strike. I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make him pay if he puts too many more pitches in that location. Count is one and two now. If I'm the guy in the batter's box right here, I have to take a step out, adjust my batting gloves, take the pull side out of it, because that was three fastballs in a row. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Grounded up the first baseline. Lined but speared on a hop. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now, now with the plate, Adam the Engel. Career numbers against Adam. Danny Duffy. Engel. He's got eight hits in 17 at-bats. He's also tripled off him three times. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, 1-1. One one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball, it's 2-1. and one. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. He's been throwing strikes all day, so you're not up at the plate thinking he's going to walk you in this situation. You need to be aggressive and sit hard at the plate. He's set. Here's the three and two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gordon is there, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The the third base. Next to bat will be the Cuban import, Yon Moncada. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. 
And that's taken for strike one. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Ball fastball just misses. That's ball one. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. Ball Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Awfully frustrating for a pitcher. You make a close pitch like that that just barely misses. Whoo, that's a tough one to get back. Gets a good piece of it there, but this is foul off toward the third base coaching box. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. With the meat of the order due up next, you could probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two hole hitter. And he popped him up. And that's in there, base hit. And they keep the inning alive with a base hit, but you can see that's only the third okay. hit. He's awesome. given up the entire game, so feet. he's still in total okay. control out there. I'll play you. So here's the slugging first baseman Jose Abreu now 0 for 2 from him so far in this one and he'll take strike one on the fastball registering at 93 that time cold strike on the outside part of the plate 0 and 2 he certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat two straight takes so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up one ball and two strikes to count. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And Owings will make the play there to retire the side. White Sox leave one. They trail this one one to nothing. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Hamilton. Here's the first pitch to him. This is line to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. The white field, Jumped all 15. over that first pitch of the inning Wait. and he didn't miss it. Just Better wasn't field. able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Merrifield behind a ball and two strikes. Wow, that changeup is an absolute beaut. They call it the great equalizer for a reason. And the slider gets him swinging to God. So coming to the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. He flew out in his last at bat. Mondesi. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. One run, two hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He is pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Oh, and he misses it. Danny, I know that's not the execution he was looking for right there. That batter's eyes lit up on that pitch. Not a real good changeup. One of the things, Mark, this pitcher will do, he'll use that changeup like most pitchers will use the curveball. His changeup is that good. That one wasn't, though. Ron couldn't lay off the pitch inside. It's 0-1. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. The 0-1 on its way. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. 
Now a snap move over to first. Runner back safely. And another snap throw to the bag, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Royals leave one, but they're up one to nothing. Here's Yonder Alonso. Leading off for the white. This side. thing's far from the over, even hitter. though we're moving into the Yonder back end of this game. Alonso. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Down low, two balls and a strike. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. I'll tell you, we're in the later stages of this ball game, but his fastball is still coming out of his hand with plenty on it. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, Number in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. And a good fastball there, but this just misses the zone for ball one. Here's a breaking ball that falls in there for a strike to even things at one and one. You see there the pitch count is up to 88. And at this point in the game, that's a good place oh, to be. Counts. So I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. Two and two. Here now the 2-2. Popped him up. Maldonado is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Settling in now, Leori Garcia. Career numbers against Danny Duffy. Comes in with six hits in 23 at-bats. He's also gone down on strikes five times. First pitch on its way. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. This is line to left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance. Anderson. Now here comes Kansas City manager Ned Yost making that slow walk to the mound. And it changes in the offing as that'll be all for his starter this afternoon. So as he departs, he Ladies can't lose this ball Your game, but he is responsible for the runner now at second, meaning it'd be a no decision if that run Number comes across to score. Kevin, Kevin McCarthy is out from the bullpen now McCarthy. as he'll get the call here on opening day. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at-bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Garcia stands at second with two gone. Swung on and missed, and it's even at 2-2. Two that is such a tough pitch to lay off right there, but you have to find a way. There's nothing you're going to do with that low sinker except foul it into your shin or hit a ground ball to the left side. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 home. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So 
in is Jorge Soler. Due up are the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. Here's the first pitch to him. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. Hey, this guy's pitching pretty well as we're rolling into the late innings. It's interesting, though. His first pitch strike percentage, less than 40% so far in this one. One and one to count. One and one, here it comes. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Two things pitchers really love, called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about that jam right there. That's about as good as it gets. Two and two to Jorge Soler. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. Three and two to the Royals' designated hitter. Well, the one-two pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on two and two. You know he doesn't want this and that to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Hit the other way out toward right field. Garcia is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Now batter. Stepping Number up to the 66. plate, Ryan O'Hearn. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. And it looked like the fastball got away from him there. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitches Whoa, to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Pulled toward right center field. Engel is in pursuit. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The batter, number Here's two. Chris Owings now. He's man. one for two in this one. Away. First pitch coming. Here it is. And this is taken outside for ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Ready on one and two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. A swing and a ground ball to third. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Royals go down one, two, three. But they're on top one. Leading off the inning, Wellington Leading Castillo, the and they'll need him to the get catcher. something going here. Wellington. Third That's baseman good. hugging the line here, now the first pitch. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Now here's the pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And this is going to find its way into right for a base hit. The leadoff man's on to start the eighth. The leadoff hitter finds his way now, on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse Carlos. with the manager. Does he use the bunt right here? Do we put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. Into the box, Yomer Sanchez. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle, it's 0-1. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far.
hit down the third baseline. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. Dozier is over and he puts it away for the first down. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next, one of the best defensive center fielders in the league, Adam Engel. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. Ready on 0 and 2. Now, this is hit not all that hard out to second. The second for one, but one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Up next for Chicago. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Johan Moncada. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but this is foul for the first strike. The 0 1 pitch in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. 0 oh, and 2, here it comes. But a good play by the first baseman to spear this one, and that'll retire the side. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. Your Ian Hamilton please. is out from the bullpen now, now as he'll make his Chicago. first appearance here on the season. 52. Set. Here it comes. Ball one. A ball and no strikes. Count one and oh. The 1-0 -oh. misses. Ball two. Ball. Nope. Hamilton, a right-hander who stands in even six feet. He was selected in the 11th round back in the 2016 first-year player draft. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Not much to say about that swing other than it should have never happened. behind 0-2 now. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. Maldonado behind the ball and two strikes. Action in the White Sox bullpen now as they have a left-hander getting loose. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. The center fielder, number six. Digging in, Billy, Billy. Hamilton. 0 oh, for 2 Hamilton. on the afternoon so far. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. KC down in. Stepping into the box, Jose Abreu, and the starting off. To the right side, the first baseman, Jose Abreu. 
You're Fred Foxberger takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 26, Brad. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. That missed close. It's ball two. You'll hear me say this time after time up here in the booth. You fight so hard to get into these counts. 1-0, 2-0, 3-1. They don't happen often. This is a huge spot. Count leverage. Look for him to get loose on a fastball right here. The 2 1 is strike two swinging. <laughs> hit sharply on the ground, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So the tying run is aboard here in the ninth. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get now a glove on it. Hard single, single up the middle. Yeah, Go watch your it. lips right there, Dad. Oh, sent it back right where it came from. First offering on its way. Hard liner to center field. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Time run headed home. And a relay to the plate. He's in there at the plate. And that ties the ball game in the top of the ninth. You know, D. Rowe, in today's game, it's the not ball. easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. And I don't think a guy nope. throws under 97 nope. miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable. He's able to get that knock in that big spot. One ball, one strike to count. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with nobody out. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Now the one and two pitch. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a base hit. Merrifield scoops it up. And there's now probably batting. no right happier field. person Wait in the Lee. ballpark. Elo Jimenez has just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. Yeah, good for him and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment, and he's obviously trying to play cool right now, but you can bet inside his head, he's on top of the world. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Runners breaking for the plate, and a late squeeze attempt, and it looks like it's going to work. So they get the out at first, but the run will score on the suicide squeeze. So a gutsy call there as that takes some serious stones to call the suicide squeeze this late in the game, but the go-ahead run comes in to score. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Oh, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Don't kid yourself. He's well aware that he has the hat trick right now. And after that swinging strike, he's looking at the golden sombrero. And the fastball easy to lay off that time two and two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt and the throw to first is there to record the second out. Good pitch there and that was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the plate first after the ball hit the dirt. Looking to keep this a one run game the pitch hit back up the middle. And he can't come up with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Ready once again, Gilmer Sanchez. Previous matchups with Boxberger. He's one for two. Strike taken as that one crosses over the inside part of the plate. Dozier into foul territory. Little guessing game going on right now. Being late on that fastball after the change. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So disaster strikes here in the ninth as a late rally has certainly dampened the mood of these fans. To the bottom of the ninth we go.
top of the order due up. The White Sox lead this one two to one. Ladies Alex Colome is the man please. called on to close this one now and earn a save in the ninth. Whit Merrifield next to hit. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Now batting. Coming to the plate now, Alberto Mondesi. It was a single for him in his last at bat. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0 and 1. That pitch was right down the heart of the plate, but obviously this guy had made up his mind on the on deck circle. He was taken all the way and he was going to zone him up. A little quick on that swing and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. On the ground towards second. Sanchez is up with it. Throw on to first is going to take care of him as the Royals are now down to their last chance now. The left fielder. Here's the left four. fielder Alex Gordon Alex. in the past against Alex Colome. He's two for three. Zero. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. This offense is going to have to find a way to get going. It's happened in the past. Every team goes through it where everyone seems to fall into a funk at the same time. Everyone needs to relax and not try and be the hero and just start getting the leadoff guy on. KC down to their final strike in this one. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, we emphasized earlier in the telecast what a lift it can be to win on opening day. But what do you really think this means, Dero? Well, for the winner, it's a huge confidence boost, Dan, no doubt. But for the loser, hey, it's just one game. You shake it off, remind yourself you're at the beginning of a long season, and you come out ready to play next time.